Hello, this is Leela Sword, um, five, and I am doing a review of Nova Boost. And I'm not sure if a Nova Boost is an actual thing. I, I don't really know what a Nova is. Uh, it's his name is based off of Nova Blast, and I, I, which is actually. A power that all toes have, which releases a loud blast of energy. But, anyways, on with the review. The with this guy, he is part of the team of Toa that sword that Blade Master is training, and so. His personality, I'm going to do the personalities of these guys. He's kind of like Ta, who's a little black less, but he's the strategist of the team. So he's not as reckless of, as Tahu. He's a little more civilized, a little more, you know, just smarter. And he was found fighting some of the minions of the Toe of the Virus. They look like this. I'm going to review them later. See his eyes right here. He doesn't have an arm right now. Don't know why. And so, other than that, and these guys are not real toe over the virus. And so, other than that, with this guy, he has, he wears the, I know it looks like the how, but it's actually a mask that I created. It's the Mask of Elemental Boosts, hence his name, uh, Nova Boost. He can, like, have one huge boost of fire, which is good because it can hold his enemies, but bad because it can hold his friends. He's, he's actually not the leader, but he's the first Toa that was in the squad. And so, anyways... You can see his mask there. He has a really unique body type. I don't really think that there are any other body types like it. You can lift his arm up here and see a little thing under it. I think that's supposed to shoot out fire or something. I don't know really why I put it in. You can see a basic... Um, what's his face? Oh yeah, you can see just the basic... The Toa Jalo Mari Sword. And so, other than that, you know, really, nothing really special. He has kind of a color scheme of kind of, I think of it as explosive. You might not. It is yellow and red. The thing with these guys is they never have really good camouflage. The next guy that I'm going to review, excuse me for a second while I get him. This guy, right here, has even worse camouflage with red and blue, with orange and blue. No, it's just, uh, there are two colors on the opposite side of the color wheel. And they would, and they kind of would give it away if anyone saw him. He, they, none of them can really hide out. But other than that, I think that he's, you know, a pretty cool guy. One of the tallest that I've ever made. I mean, seriously, I was at one point proud of making this guy. But look at how tall he is compared to this guy. I should probably move the camera backwards a bit so you can still see his head. Well, anyways, but look at him compared to this guy. I mean, this guy hardly even comes up to his waist. So, anyways, this is Lewis Sword 5 signing off. Hello, this is Lewis Sword 5 back again. And I have two things to say. First, for all of you Bionicle fans who. or Hero Factory fans who have just started making locks and those just look like this don't give up it is really if you if you try it it's really pretty cool making locks 
And another thing I had to say is I think that the Mask of Elemental Boosts is a mask. I might have read about it on a website somewhere, maybe BZ Power or something. But anyways, it is a real mask probably. So I'm sorry if I took credit for making it up. I did not. Sorry, Greg Faustity. Bye.